his, for his, it's 12. 13. Uh, 12 for him, yeah. So, well, I'm, okay, I'm recording now. So he's going to do this. He hits the death roll here. Um, it says yep. add wound level. I say yes. Sure. He rolls. No other additional modifier. So he rolled a 47, actually. So he rolled quite well. Nice. So if he was a foe, yep. he would succeed. He would not he die. Would he would take a and wound. Simply take a wound. Yep. So we'll, we'll uh, and then he would make a falter roll. So uh, let's uh, let me uh, let's do somebody else. Um, let's do a foe. Let's do a mummy. Um, do you oh. want to be? Well, let's clear initiative. Um, this might be okay. a little bit more difficult. Um, do you want to? Do you want to have to move on him? Do you want to be toe to toe? How how do you want to start it? I want to start ranged with my slingshot. Okay. Do you want it out? You can have it out if you want. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, so let's start right about like there. Um, okay. That makes sense. Uh, let's go ahead and roll initiative because the mummy's initiative is really bad. Um, I think he has dither, which is a flaw. Um, okay. Um, I don't know uh, anything about mummies in your system uh it's just so uh this is from the actually the fantasy um bestiary volume one um Mm -hmm. so i try to make everything kind of as generic as possible in those like um kind of you know what would a mummy do right you know who who knows right but but uh, they're they're big clunking undead things so it has dither um so that gives a a hardship to his initiative so i'm gonna roll initiative with the mummy um combat initiative no benefits one heart oh don't do that one hardship all right uh so he rolled a 14 uh you Mm -hmm. definitely go first uh so go ahead i will shoot him okay so that's the uh, thing is three ap uh it is if you're just doing a normal uh sling i can aim though can't i you uh but if i aim then he can go yes that's that's exactly right yes I think I'll just take a shot and see okay. what happens. Okay. So uh, make uh, your so if you if you use that combat menu, it'll show all the weapon stuff. It'll show everything. It just does it all in one. So if you click on you, click right. on the combat menu, and then click on slingshot, it'll do it all for you. Sure. I'm just trying to sort out the turn order thing. I hit enter, but I don't. Uh, it's there. I see it. If you click it off, it'll show. I think. I've tried that. I see 345 for you. Good. It looks looks All right. right to me. A slingshot. I will say no benefits. Um, the range right. on it, I th- oh, is the range four? Uh, so if the range is four, uh, is it a thrown weapon? It is, right? No, no, a slingshot. Slingshot. No, it's what a is... slingshot, not a sling. Okay, so uh, let's see. It says the range is... Four. Four. Okay, so that's fine. So we so count... Medium. We're going to or... count the... Yeah, it's probably medium. So we'll, ca- we'll count the squ- uh, hexes between you guys. It's it's four or five, depending on which way you go, which is medium range. That's fine. Because just mm-hmm. so people are, are listening and just for the sake of this video, so the way range works is... You take the range of the weapon, and then you have it and uh, multiply it by 1.5. And if you're in that range of numbers, that's medium range. Uh, if you're below that to half, uh, I'm sorry, to well, if you're below if if you're below that number, um, then you would be in close range. And if you're above that number if you're long if you're double that number you're an extreme okay and then if you are below close you have to be within two hexes to be a j or a point blank and then adjacent so for a range four weapon Mm -hmm. could you outline what point blank is two or less so point blank would be two or less and if you have overlapping which you which you can do, right? Close mm-hmm. and point blank would overlap, right? So this is something I, I know that happens. If you are in that, uh, you just ignore close and you do point blank. So. Okay, so um, close runs for a range four weapon. It runs from where to where? So it would be it would be one to two, yeah. Oh, okay. Because it's that's a really short range, so you're gonna have like cases where you're going to be uh, you're going to be point blank one. You're always point blank one or two or w- one or two away or adjacent. So actually, point blank is two away technically, and mm-hmm. adjacent is one. 
And that's count. So two away is one hex between us. Yeah. So this would be. All right. Um, wow. This right here would be point blank. Yeah. Gotcha. And this, this would be adjacent. So, yeah, so you would never. So with that weapon, that you would never have close range. You just wouldn't. No. But uh, in this case, uh, short range is three. Because it's from two to no, it's from it's three. Yeah, you would have either medium or point blank. You would never have close because close is overlapping your point blank. Okay. Um, yeah. Sorry, I, I'll figure it out. No, you're fine. You, you said medium. Good yeah, enough. You're medium. So I, I, I'm on uh, the input value for a benefit. I don't have one of those. Right. Um, additional mods. Is there a modifier for medium range? Or does that no, it, it it'll um it'll ask you what range you're at later on in the equation. Okay, so there's hardships. It didn't. Oh, that's because you're using exotic. Okay, so so let's just do it manually. That's fine. So that's your roll okay. a thirty. So now you're at medium range. So you need to roll uh two d ten exploding or I can. It doesn't matter. Um, it's slash uh, r slash r and pound sign. Uh, well, do two d ten. Um. Ah. And then um, exclamation, so that exclamation. It? Two exclamation. Yeah, that's fine. That, it, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, so 10. So 30 minus 10. Um, so that's the first thing. So we're mm -hmm. at 20. And then we're going to minus his base defense. Okay. Mm. His base defense is 8. So okay. um, we're at 12. Um, ranged attacks are not lowered because you're small it's just melee oh so okay. he takes 12 damage okay right. uh so okay so the first thing he does is he takes 12 and uh a slingshot doesn't look like it has any um it has uh, no modifier it has no. no modifier so it doesn't matter um so let's see if he has any armor um or anything like that he may um so uh, he does not at this power level, unless I didn't enter it. Let me make sure. No, he does not. So he gets hit for 12. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at my screen, I'm look looking at, at his, his injury his is nine. His injury is nine. His wounds are 19. So he's going to take an injury. Mm -hmm. uh, so he takes one injury. I'm going to put it in here. Um, so every roll he makes should be at a negative three now. Okay, so okay. he has one injury. So that's all and you that's do when you take it. Immediately. That's applied immediately. That's nice. right. Um, so. So now it's his turn. Yep, and he's gonna do what uh, mummies do, I guess. He's going to just walk up for four AP, uh, and then that'll be his turn. That's it. So I get to do something before he gets there. Yep. Which would be one round of aim now. Aim gives me a plus three or a benefit. Um, aim uh, would give you a benefit. Now, um, a slingshot um, mm. does it does not. Um, let me let me look at it in the book and see. Um, just one thing, real quick. Mm -hmm. Slingshot, because I think you have to reload it. Uh, that is something oh, you do have to reload. Re reload. So, so I'm dropping it and quick drawing my dagger. Yep, and so. So you can drop so for free. That's, a, that's free. Yep. And then daggers probably have the quality quick, right? So you can uh, draw well, it for free. Mito... Oh, yes. One-handed, light, piercing, and quick. So you can draw it for free. So a, qual a quick quality on a dagger is a f uh, you can draw it for free. So you drop it and you can switch your weapons immediately. So for no AP Night. cost. Okay. So I'll do that, and I guess then I have to wait for him to get to me, don't I? Uh, he's at you. He is. He is adjacent to you. So. Oh, uh, in AP four, he is. Yeah, but you. So, the way this works is, his a once his AP goes past you on the track, it yep. he is allowed to finish. There is no like. Okay. Okay. He was he wasn't at me at AP three, right? Gotcha. He's just allowed to finish his move, and then where he sits on the track, and then you go. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to go and make a. It doesn't matter what kind of attack because I'm going now. 
Um, if I do a standard attack, then that costs me three. Yep. There we go. Um, so I've spent that. Okay. And I've got no penalties. I've got plus three with my dagger. Yep. So I'm going on that combat menu. Where is it? There should be a, under weapons, there should be a... Um... It isn't. <laughs> short uh, sword, slingshot, hand to hand. And, uh, uh, sh oh, just use a short sword. Uh, I, I uh, did. D oh, you uh, dagger. Yeah, it's fine. It just is mislabeled. That's fine. Okay. It's the same. So thing. there's no benefit. Uh, it's just a standard roll. But additional mods is three. Hardships none this time. Okay. Oh. Uh, so thirty-one. Uh, uh, but this is melee, so he doesn't get to. Sorry, he does get to dodge it, but. Uh, he he does get to dodge. Yet. I'm not going to bother, actually, um, because uh, I think he would fail anyhow. Um, mm -hmm. So so I don't have to, right? Mm -hmm. I don't have to dodge, because if I dodge, it's going to increase my AP by one, and it's uh, probably not going to do anything. He has, right. I know he has a flaw called Clumsy, which gives him a hardship to all agility rolls, so it's, it's yeah. going to be worse. And if yeah. I roll a negative, then that mm -hmm. increases your damage. So I don't uh, want to do that. <laughs> so what I do is I take my base defense. Uh, the mummy's base defense is eight. I'm going to subtract it from the 31. That's going to give me a 23. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we know that your um, your damage uh, of piercing does not impact. It is zeroed out because of your small ability. Now, right. the, the weapon says that it is piercing. So piercing, what piercing well. does is if you have armor... With the yep. piercing uh, aspect, he doesn't have armor, but we'll talk through nope. it. If you have mm -hmm. armor with the piercing aspect, you have their um, their armor aspect by your agility. No, or I'm sorry, you subtract you subtract their your armor agility. by your ability or agility. Okay. So All right. so if he has um. So if he, if he let's say he had armor, 10 I'm before agility, so I'd subtract the four from his armor. Yes, right. Okay. But he doesn't have armor, so it doesn't do anything. Understood. So he takes 23 and, damage. And uh, that's, is that counted as a post roll modifier? Yeah, that would be all in the post roll modifier. So your pre roll so modifier, anyway. your pre roll modifier in this instance is 23. So 31 yeah. minus his base defense. There's nothing sure. else. That's your, that's your, that's. That's the free roll stuff. Now the damage is like the subtracting and adding of damage is where the post roll modifier stuff happens. All right. So none of that counts against. Yeah. None of that uh, matters in this case. Targets. Yeah, because piercing uh, is no. only for when somebody has armor of some sort. Sure. So he's going to take the hit. It's twenty three. Uh, I'm going to look at his character sheet just to show it. Uh, so that's going to be above uh, nineteen. So he mm -hmm. is going to take a uh, wound. OK, mm -hmm. so now the thing is, typically now he would make a falter roll. OK, but mm -hmm. he has undead three and undead three is he never makes falter rolls. OK, can't can't falter as undead. You're not you don't feel pain. Okay. Um, another thing is, um, let's see, Isn't that, is that it? That can't be just it. You never did your mental damage. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, I thought, I don't know if that's written correctly. I'm going to look in the book. That's all right. Yeah. It's, he feels no pain. He definitely, he definitely doesn't take a fault to roll. I know that. Okay. Um, and so now it's his turn. It will be his turn. Just give me one second. I'm look on the mm -hmm. book real quick. Because he has undead three. Yeah. So, so Undead 3, which is not in here, um, so it also makes him immune to injuries and wound hardships. So he's not, because he's undead, he doesn't take wound hardships or injuries. So he has okay. a wound. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zero these out um, because they're going to they're gonna impact his rolls, and they shouldn't. Uh, so I'll just put in his oh. wounds real quick okay. that he took one for 23. Um we, we should have looked at the hit location, even though uh, it it's not torso. really going to matter. Um, it's a torso. Yeah, torso. Okay. Uh, no, one's not a torso. 
Um, that will oh, oh, I see. Oh, you did do it. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's a table. Okay, so torso is fine. Uh, so he took one to the torso. Um, so we're just going to track that. He has a wound, um, so um, that, that'll that count against his wound thresholds if it matters. Yeah. Um, but, okay, so he is so not impacted by wound. wounds or injuries, like, as far as Understood. if he if but it's... If he t- yeah, but if he takes two more, then he starts to fall apart, basically. Um, oh, it's got to exceed his wound threshold. Yes, it has to exceed. Uh, this so, is going to take a while. Okay. Yeah, so he's going to try to punch you, um, and uh, he's on. he's actually going to do a reckless attack. So Wait. reckless attacks um, give him three benefits, and it costs four AP. Oh, oh, oh. So he'll be up Ouch. at eight AP. And he's going to do that. Uh, it, it, it's going to impact his defenses next time, but I'm using base defense, so it's not going to impact as much as somebody who was dodging and stuff. So right. um, he's going to attack with his mummy fist here. It takes three abilities, or benefits, sorry. Uh, and here we go. Wow. Uh, so that's 39, um, and your base defense is what? 22. 24. 24. No, 22. It's 22. Okay, so that's um, 17 damage uh, if you don't dodge. You can try to dodge and see if you can get better. Now, your base defense is 22, so it's pretty high, so you have to beat that to make it any better. If you get lower, it's it's worse for you. Yes. So, yeah, but 39 is unsurvivable. Well, it's a wound. Um, uh, it's it's a You'd make a death roll, too, yeah. Oh, you think? Well, well. Yeah. Don't just, I well, 22. I mean, what's your ar- I mean, what's your armor? Because I, I see. Uh, but I subtract the twenty-two from it first. Right? Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So that's a that's a seventeen. Oh, 17. That's a seventeen. But then you add and four. Then I do have armor. Twenty-one. What equipped armor is leather armor, which is it? Oh, I see. Against bludgeoning mm-hmm. is six. Okay. So that so takes me down be, to eleven. So I have an injury. You, yeah. Well. So okay, let's let's think about it. so thirty nine minus twenty two, seventeen. Yep. Okay, so now we have that part right. Okay, mm-hmm. now uh, we add his damage, so that's twenty one. He has bludgeoned to four, twenty one. Then you minus six. Okay, yep. so fifteen. You be at fifteen. You take a wound. I'm dodging. Okay. Now that is a skill roll. It is. And it's going to cost me one, one AP. AP. Mm-hmm. Uh, Okay, so I have dodge two with agility four, so that's six dice. That's six dice. Drop two. Um, let me see. Any of my abilities affect dodging? I don't think they do. Perception, short blades, defense. That's already done. Plus two to defense for being small. You may re-roll one skill check per session. Okay. Acrobatic, stealth, and thievery. Not helpful. All right. So it's a straight up. Uh, can I roll better than you can do? Uh, you can, do. You you have fate points? I, think I can. Do you have fate? I do. So I there's there's so there's two ways you can use them. Mm-hmm. If you want to spend a fate point, which would be like it. You know, the GM decides when they come back, right? Uh, Mm -hmm. It gives you a benefit. Uh, If you want to burn one, which that would mean they'd never come back, you would get a plus 20 at PL1, plus 30 at PL2, plus 40 at PL4. You really have to really mean it for that. You have to really mean it because they don't come back. And standard games, you cannot buy fate points again. You can't you can't spend XP on fate no. points. Now the GMs can say you can. There's optional rules for that, but but mm-hmm. like the baseline game, you, you're not supposed to. So I've just popped up the skill menu, mm-hmm. and I should see dodge on there somewhere. Uh, if you're doing combat oh, no. menu, it's the uh, I think I just it's did the this. mental skin you, skill menu. Oh, dodge dodge is Still under acrobatics. Dodge. It's physical. Yeah. Yeah. So we're getting no benefits or modifiers at all. So that's better. Okay. That's good. That's much better. So he's down to 8. eight. Plus 4 is 12. Minus 6. Minus 6 is 6. That's going to be an injury. Which is my injury. So you take an injury. Damn. The thing, though, um, so now we have that all figured out. 
Yes. Uh, he has – this is a natural weapon for him, uh, and he mm-hmm. has what's called – the. he has a poison equipment effect. Of um, course. So, so this is how you add magical or weird things to attacks and stuff. They're all called equipment effects, but it, whatever. So – what this is, what this is, is um, when struck by a weapon or consumable with a uh, total success value of zero or greater, the target must resist against poison. So this is a, a rank three hazard. Um, mm-hmm. So if we look at hazards, um, what you're going to do is you need to make a recovery skill check. Okay. Um, what I'll do first is uh, I'll show you what the target is. So when you when you roll these hazards and and hazards are kind of um, they're effects against you that is not usually uh, created by an active attack or a skill check. So you could okay. be like you could drink a poison and this same thing would happen. You would still this is the same way you would do it. So what I do is um, a rank three means I'm gonna roll. F- um, 4d10 keep three so hazards work like this you make a skill check or you it's not a skill check technically you make a a roll which is um the rank plus the power level okay and that's the success ah. value quote unquote so um, rank three plus one for the power level gives you four 40 10 yep uh so 40 10 keep three and do they explode? They do. So I get okay. a 23. So you're going to make a recovery roll versus a 23, or you will be poisoned. Damn. That is not healthy. Uh, recovery. Recovery is... Ooh. It's under uh, endurance. Oh, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, I've got nothing. Okay, so you just roll. Okay, so that's a, a 15. Uh, there is a um, uh, so there is a post roll that you or a post mo- roll modifier you add, and that is uh, the rank um, plus the power level, so plus four, so it's going to mm-hmm. be 12. Um, so now uh, minus three on this. What's that say? Why? Oh, minus three because I'm injured. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, so we're looking at, uh, what did I say? Eight plus four. Um, yes. Or I'm sorry, 23 minus eight, 15, right? Plus four. So, uh, you take 19 damage and poison damage, essentially. Just a minute. No, I think you went backwards there. It's 23 minus 12, right? Uh, how do you have 12? Or is four against me? Four is against you. Yeah, that's that's oh, the. It's so like it's a damage. It's eight. like a damage type of thing. So I take nineteen. Which you take nineteen, which is a wound, and oh, unfortunately, poison is persistent. So the way persistence <laughs> works is whatever the rank minus one is, how many um, turns that it's going to hit you, and you're able to. You're oh. going to be able to roll against. Um, the, that 23 again. Okay, but I've, what I've got is a 19 now, right? Or is it a 23? It's it's the 23. Yeah. The 23 is yeah, the Yeah, because you're going to make you're going to make another recovery roll. Um right. next your next turn. Okay, so this is a location of Uh it's it, it, it doesn't it doesn't really. Yeah, you can just say torso, yeah. Yeah. And I'll just write down um zombie po- or what is it? Mummy poison. Mummy poison. Yeah. Oh, mummy. Mummies are serious deal. For some reason, I thought zombie, and I thought, oh, this will be easy. Um, but mummies are not. Yeah, this is a foe. So this is the second class of um, bad guy, if you will. Up from minion? Yeah. So okay. he w- he takes real wounds. He takes, you know, mm-hmm. he doesn't die automatically, that sort of thing. All right. So I've been poisoned. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want in your in your character sheet where it says wound hardship, put a one in there. Um, I'm not seeing where that is. Okay, so that's by your characteristics. Um, up by oh, it's already in there. You've already got it. It's under damage. Oh, that yeah, under yeah. damage. Yeah. Yeah. That 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 is the way the sheet uh, automatically will add 
um, hardships mm -hmm. to your roles and stuff like that. That's that's what that does. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, you are up. <laughs> And now, so he made a reckless right. attack. Just, point. just to keep this clear, he made a reckless attack. So mm -hmm. any um, defensive action he makes has a hardship, um, mm -hmm. and let's see, I believe he gets a negative five on his base defense as well. Yes. Oh, that's so, helpful. So he does get a negative five on his base defense uh, yeah, until he acts see. again. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I'm going to make a reckless attack. You can. Because I need to put him down. Oh, but I can only do one wound. The only thing I can do is exceed his mortality threshold and hope. Uh, yeah, you could do that. You could do that, or you could uh, try to you try to whittle him down and play on the defense. You could do a cautious attack. Um, so my defense hasn't dropped from 22. No, no. Uh -uh, uh -uh, nope. So did he get lucky with his roll? Well, he, he, he just rolled really high. He rolled a, he rolled a 39. I mean, that... It, yeah. Yours is yours is twenty two or thirty one. That's good, but he just rolled higher. It's just, yep. And you, you didn't take much. De you didn't take much damage from the punch. Really, it was mostly the poison. You only took an injury from yep. the punch, and the poison is what got you. Yeah. So your advice would it mm -hmm. be to attempt to finish this quickly or fight it KG and and keep the problem away? with undead, especially a level three undead. Is mm -hmm. you can hurt him and he's still going to come. He's not going to be impacted like you are from wounds and injuries. It's just right. not going to happen until you uh, until you start cutting him up so bad that you know um, he falls apart. Which means you have to give him two more wounds. So yes. I, um, yeah. but but he's he is a severe disadvantage right now. Um, his okay. his base defense is yeah three. So if you can hit him super yeah. hard, you might be able to kill him in one shot. Yes, that's you what could, I'm going to try to do. You could try to, well, uh, you could spend, a, if this was a campaign, a if this was a campaign, oh. you might not want to burn your fate point, but you could, mm -hmm. you could do that. You could definitely use one. So that wouldn't hurt, you know. Okay, I will use a fate point. Okay, so you're going to get an extra benefit. benefit. Um, if you do a reckless attack, that means you get four benefits. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. And that's uh, three AP? No, four AP. So here, here's here's what I would do. Okay, mm -hmm. I would aim first thing. Oh, I would aim. That would put you tied in initiative, but you and have then I can act. right. So that gives you one benefit. Okay. Understood. So. So, I'm so there's that. that. I'm aiming. You're yeah. aiming. So now, okay. So you have one benefit. Now mm -hmm. I would reckless attack. Um, now, I, the one thing I would want to look at on your sheet is where that puts yep. your um, dice pool because you might have gone over, right? So you have um, – so mm -hmm. small blades, two, Ooh. so you're rolling six. So now you're rolling um, seven. If you um, – no, okay, so rolling six, so you're rolling seven. You reckless attack, you're rolling eight, uh, and then you have two more. So you're yeah. still rolling eight. And then what we're going to do is keep you're five. you're going to keep five instead of four, okay? Because you've went over the maximum dice pool. And then if mm -hmm. you have if you so that would be that reckless. And if you spend if you spend another um, if you spend a fate point on a benefit at that point, you are actually at eight um, k nine. So you can be at nine k five, right? Does that right. make sense? I think I said that. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to run through the math again. Yep. So I'm six, keep four yep. to start. Yep. Um, because my wounds and all of the rest of that stuff is yeah. penalties on the other side. Yeah, it's that doesn't matter. Do mm -hmm. I'm rolling. Yep. Okay, so I've aimed. So I'm at seven, keep four. Yep. I'm attacking recklessly. That gives me plus three. Yep, so it technically would be a 10k4, but that gets converted 10K4, to... 10k4, but it can't be. It's 8k5. 8k5, that's right. And then I add a fate, which adds one more for a nine k five. Yep, that's it. That's understood. It. Yep, I will do that. That's. I think uh, that. I think that conversion is the most complicated thing of the system, which you only yeah, get when you but, do this kind of stuff. But. But it's not that bad. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, so you're gonna have to right. do that manually. There's no yeah. way for so, roll twenty to do it automatically. 
So the benefits, I need to. I would I would just make a, a straight inline roll on the on the on the roller. I wouldn't even use the sheet because there's just no there's no way to oh. do it. Oh. Okay. Oh, because there's no way to make it keep five. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. So slash r nine d ten keep exclamation. five you you want to make sure you do the keep because because it's going to do drop yeah do do slash roll and then 9d 10 keep five. five exclamation exclamation and um sorry the keep the exclamation is after the keep five it is mm -hmm. it's the very mm -hmm. last thing a five exclamation exclamation uh except that there's a plus three in there as well uh then you can just do space plus three that should work space Plus three. Jeepers. So 30. Are you kidding me. So now, no. okay, so it's a 30 right now, but now you need to make, so it's a negative three. So that's 27. And then you need to roll a hardship. So go uh -huh. ahead and roll uh, 1d10. And then we'll that see. That was abysmal. Yeah, it wasn't good. Um, so how many? Just one. Hardship. Just one. Uh, so wound hardship. Roll one d ten minus three. Yeah. Uh, no, just one d ten. Uh, but I'm injured as well. Uh, I, I, well, you, you could, yeah. I mean, but that's easier yep. just to look at. You have twenty seven. If one d ten, um, plus three. And it's exploding. Yeah. You so just do one d ten. Uh, and then we'll just there. figure out what it is. That's Here. Fine. What the hell happened? Uh, oh, I needed a space. Okay, so that's that's really good. Um, yeah, so oh, I'm down to 26. Yeah, so, okay. So you hit him for 26. Yeah. Um, no post-roll modifier for you. None nope. for him. Um, so, Minus three for his defense. So, yeah, and he's, that's right. So he gets hit for 23. Um, mm -hmm. So that's going to give him another wound. Uh, so let's uh, let's bring oh, that up. Feel. <laughs> so it hurts him, but it doesn't impact his skill checks or anything it's the 23 no. is the exact is that what it doesn't really matter um yep that's what we did yep, yep. so it's 23 so he has two wounds now um uh, but no yep. no wounds that's no great. no wound hardships no injuries oh wait and i spent three how many ap to do that three. Oh, four. four okay. four reckless reckless four. deck is four yeah okay okay so he's up uh that was your attack um so now yep. you need to make uh, you need to do your recovery skill check for poison. This is the last one. Okay. It happens on your turn. Um, and it happens twice because it's level three minus one, one. if it's persistent. Um, yeah. Okay. So again, I am. I'm just going to scroll up until I find it. It was a. Res it's 23 it's a recovery. recovery so my role is a 23 that stays the same um and you uh get another shot to beat it um maybe in this case if you were i i don't know you could you could burn a fate point it's just interesting to see it um because it doesn't matter right in a one shot people would be burning it i can tell you um <laughs> but i'm okay I'll, I'll i should be able to beat the 23 okay uh, with a recovery a skill recovery check roll. yeah okay you should yeah you're Ooh. yeah 17 um so let's see okay so that that's good that had your hardship and everything in it so that's a, it a six plus a four so a 10 so you're going to take another wound um on that one no an injury you have six so okay six plus four is 10 which is less than 13 so 23 yep. minus 17 is 6. Yep. Plus 4. Yep. Is 10. Yep. Which is more than 6, but less than 13. Oh, yeah, injury. You're right. Sorry. Yep, injury. Um, cool. And now now you're not poisoned anymore. Oh, so, that's helpful. Yeah, so <laughs> kind of... I'm nigh unto death, but I'm not poisoned. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so add your injury into your uh, done. okay. So you yep. should have two of those. Uh, usually, yep. usually when I'm playing, what I do is I do uh, this is this is injuries and this is wounds is usually how I track it. But um, so oh, um, okay. it's going to. Uh, I mean, it's a dumb mummy. It's going to reckless attack again. 
Um, I, I mean, I could like aim up to twelve. No, no, no. no. I, oh. but, but I don't think. Yeah. Like I try to play the monsters kind of how they would do it. You know, I don't mm-hmm. think a mummy would be sitting there and aiming at it. You know, no. um, so uh, that would put him in at eleven. Uh, so he's gonna. Oh man, he gets attacked twice. Um, so he's reckless attacking here. Um, so here it comes. Hang on. He was at. He was eight, at, He was it? at eight. Oh, so he should be at twelve. You're right. Yeah. He should be at twelve because reckless attack is four. Or was he at seven? Yeah, he was. He was at eight because <laughs> you guys are tied. Cool. Um. So he is going to punch. Okay. Uh, of course he is. And uh, mummy fist yeah, with three benefits. Okay, so it's a 34. Bugger. Well, I'm dodging again. Okay, just remember it's going to be negative 6 and a hardship. <laughs> but you can try. So you I'm can... using the fate point for this. Yeah, you can. I, You're going to burn I one? Must. Yeah, so, so that's a benefit. Uh, no, if you burn it, it's plus 20. No, no, not burn. Oh, then, not then burn. it's a benefit, yeah. Mm-hmm. I will use it. Okay. Yeah, so it's a dodge. Yeah. And... So one benefit. That's quite good. Um, that's very good. I, I got exactly what he got. So, okay. So in this case, you have a zero, which that means yeah. he hits you. Okay. Uh, but, but. Um, so we're at zero. Oh, okay. So here's a couple things that happen. So you're at zero. He hits you in the arm. Okay. Um, okay. so the first thing I usually do is I add the damage. So four, so we're at four and then I would, uh, just look and see at the hit location, negative three, we're at one and what's your arm, your armor against bludgeoning is like six, right? Uh, mm, something yes. like that. So he's less than zero. So he hit you, but it didn't, didn't it didn't hurt, hurt you. Right. So, which means he doesn't get a chance to poison me. That's correct. Four. Okay. And now he's going down. Because I'm going to use a reckless attack back. Mm -hmm. Because I can't aim or he will get to attack. That's right. So I just need a straight up reckless attack. Yep. um, Which adds for... Three benefits. Four AP, three benefits, yeah. So with six, keep... So four. if yeah, It'll so go you're going to be nine at um, keep four, which is too much. Yeah, right? it's that would be too much. It's going to be eight keep four. Yeah. So it needs you, to be eight keep four plus three. The th- the plus three is for your um, weapon, ninth right? Die. Yeah. No, it's for the ninth die. The ninth die. So. So so I've got six keep four. Oh. But I'm adding three, so it's nine keep four, but it can't be nine keep four. Right, so it's eight, key, it's eight, eight keep four plus three. You're right. Mm-hmm. Eight keep four plus three, yeah. and I have a plus three pre-roll. Plus six. Yeah. So plus six. Yeah. So slash R. Eight. <laughs> D10. So many numbers run through my head. Um, uh, keep four. Pound, pound, plus six. Exclamations. Yeah. Yeah. That's 37. What I yep. Sorry. Uh, 37. Uh, he is at negative five again, so that's three. So that's 34. Um, he has no armor. Um, so. Uh, I, uh, so you rolled a 37. I think that's torso. Uh, I, it doesn't really matter that much. He's at 34 damage, so that's going to give him a, a wound. So foes... Mm-hmm. That kills him. So, yeah, so here's here's the thing. So normally, if you go over your wound threshold, hit somebody mm-hmm. over their wound threshold, they get to make a death roll. Okay? So they get okay. to make a death roll. If they succeed... They, um, you take the wound as normal, but you don't get an, you don't add to your wound threshold level or your wound hardships, but you take a negative three, you take an injury instead. Um, and so that, that's just, but, but you're probably going to falter, right? Whatever. Um, okay. So in this case, he's a foe and the only Mm -hmm. difference between a foe and a character besides 
how they're created, like a normal character gets more points than a foe, um, mm-hmm. is a foe can only suffer up to their wound threshold. If they go over, they just die. So that's okay. that's the difference between a foe and a normal character. Um, so you would, right. you know, however you killed him, you killed him. So yeah. Right. So with the thirty-seven. Yep. That. And oh, but I didn't. There are no hardships involved in that. Uh yeah, you could. Uh yeah, you you would need to roll your. Um, do you have two heart? You oh, have one, right? Those so, won't be. Ooh, so okay. you need you did a so um, it's one d ten plus three. So it's a thirty one technically, right? Because Just let me check. Yeah, because you have a plus six and 1D10 then one d ten plus six, not plus three. Yeah, so you have a plus six so there. I'm subtracting ten, making it yeah, that's fine. So he'd take twenty seven. He still takes a wound, so he's okay. still down. Um, right up. Yeah. The one cool. thing that's nice is it's very easy to kind of eyeball things if you don't need to know the exact damage of something. Like on mm-hmm. on monsters, you don't really need to track their wounds because you never get you know you're, they're not going to be healed later and stuff like that. You know, so right. it's it's very easy, especially if they're high numbers that you can just eyeball it and say, well, he's got a wound. Okay, if if he needs yeah. to make a death roll or something, you know, you can look at what it is. But you know, whatever. Um, so yeah. And, uh, um, now, a question about my defensive, my dodge. Yeah. I am I did that reckless attack. Yeah. So it should have been at a hardship, shouldn't it? Uh, it should have been, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which means I would have taken more damage. Yeah, probably. So, all right. Um, yeah, yeah. If you I'm take a reckless attack, taking... yeah, it, you should be at uh, a negative... Um... Uh, well, your base defense should be negative five, and you should take a hardship to any rolls. Yeah. Right. Let me <coughs> just flash R one D ten, and I've rolled a five, so I took five more damage than I thought I did. What which did means you take? he actually hurt me, which means I would have been poisoned. Oh. I, I would have taken. I wouldn't have taken an injury. It wasn't going to be that much. Um. But it was more than zero which meant that he would have had a chance to poison me and I'd have to do a recovery thing again. Yeah. Um, But were you already poisoned at the time? Before. No, this would be again because he had hit me. In this case, he would have hit me uh, and done more than zero. Yeah, but I'm I'm asking, were you you already poisoned when the time he hit you? Because if you... So, oh, then you would have been poisoned again, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um... Yep, I'm. I'm just trying to make sure yep. that I, I understand how it should work. Yep, that's. Yep. Um, even if I screwed it up. Yeah. Okay. Well. That is pretty good. Yeah, that's. I get about um, eh, ten more minutes, but probably not enough to run another nope. another combat. No, but... no, no, no. Yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah. I'm happy just to talk about what happened. Yeah. And. Uh, I wouldn't mind if the other guys were able. to... Yeah, I'm gonna unmute them right now. Up. So. Um, and I think they may have that. had questions. Yeah, that's right. Um, let's see. Can I do this? How do I do this? How do I do it? Uh, I think you can click on them. Yeah. Try. And unmute them. Yeah, I'm trying. It's not because I just had, I just had everybody uh, here. Well, I can I can fix it. I guess through this. Uh, edit channel. I can't do it because I'm not the power. Yeah. Let me uh, permissions. Uh, I don't know if I'll have to like re redo the thing. Uh, mute member, save changes. Uh, let me see if I can unmute them now. <clears throat> now they would have to drop and re-log back in. I think. Yep. I'm not sure if they're still listening, but they can do that if they would like. Or try okay. to unmute Maybe themselves. Try dropping off and uh, joining back up. Sure, he's gonna re-log in, but yeah. Um... Well, I didn't have to. All I had to do was click off and then click back on. Oh no, red is still muted. But maybe that's at his end now. Yeah, just try try to unmute yourselves. See if it works. <clears throat> yes. Oh no, it didn't. All right, left. Um, I just really don't like Discord permissions how they work. Right. No, they're a bit strange. Yeah. I've been using CleanFeed. 
um, which is nice clear sound, but a little bit more complicated to get people uh, added in. Uh, let me, um, oh boy, how do I do that? Can I just, hmm. Can we, sh can we switch to the general channel? Yeah, that's, yeah, we can do that. That's, that'll work. Yeah, let's do that. There, he's not muted here. Yeah. Was... Can you hear me now? I sure can. Yeah. yeah. It was so lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I'll delete that channel. Okay. Yeah, I did. I just at first I didn't want like you know I was explaining something and, like twenty five people coming in. Hi, how's that? You know that's the kind of thing. Alrighty. Yeah. So any so, any questions what, anybody has, have? I'm happy to answer. It was fun to watch. Um, the, it seems like there there's a standard flow of what ought to be added and subtracted in what order, and I yeah. almost feel like a little having a little handy flow chart in front of you as you go through, right. or even a, a form that you put the numbers in almost would make that easier because as you were going it seemed like every time you did it you did them in a different order and it made your lives more complicated what's chicken i mean usually usually when i'm when i'm running it what i do is i you know I come out with the roll come out with the result and then i'm going to subtract i'm always going to subtract um i'm always going to get my base success value i guess is what it's called so that is um your roll plus any pre-roll modifiers subtracted by whatever the defense is, either a base defense or a active defense, and then come out with that number. Okay, so that number is going to be your base success value. So let's say, for instance, I make a I make an attack roll and I get a 20, and um, somebody makes a defense roll and they get a 15. So now, you know, with all the modifiers uh, applied. Okay, so now you have a five. So I'm always going to take, always the next thing I'm going to do, as what I'm going to do, it, so the question, the, the thing is it really doesn't matter, but like you say, it can make it easier if you do the same thing every time. So what I typically do is I take that number and I subtract the hit location. That's what I do next. Because, um, or I'm sorry, I, I take the, um, weapon damage and then subtract the hit location because if that's zero I don't need to worry about the armor right so if my if if my weapon does let's just say one damage and so I'm at six total and then I subtract my hit location and uh, or or maybe even add if I subtract arm which is a negative three I'm at three so now I know I need to look at the armor to, to see, but if I, let's say my base success that was one and I had, I was punching somebody or something and didn't have any uh, post roll modifier and it was one and I hit him in the arm and it's negative three, so it's a negative two, so I don't need to look at armor. I already know it's soaked completely, right? So that's usually what I do. I do weapon, then I do hit location, then I do armor, so. Because the hit location actually modifies the damage. Yes. Torso does nothing. Uh, Arms and legs mm -hmm. are negative three and head is plus five. Okay. Right. That's important. I'm, I mean, I'm looking at the sequence that I would do and there's so much. I, the pre-roll stuff is straightforward. You, you can build all of that. But the post-roll stuff is variable. Yeah, and that, and that's no. why in the roll twenty sheet, I'd, the post roll stuff isn't actually tied into the rolls. Even all my macros, right. it's um, yeah. it's not possible, right? If if every weapon had the same aspect damage, mm. you could do it. You could do it. Um, that, I would be choosing the aspect first. Yeah, right. You you say okay, I want to hit with. I want to hit with I'm slashing. Pretty... Now, now it's it's assumed yeah. it's assumed you're going to use the highest one, right? That's what it's against assumed. that foe. Against that foe. But maybe you wouldn't. Maybe it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're. 
you have fought these guys before and you realize that they um you know that they're really susceptible to another type of damage and you have like mm -hmm. a piercing so something a good example is something with impervious uh or actually i'm sorry natural natural armor because natural armor is you select it based on the aspect so if something has natural armor oh my god it can get really high so if it's power level one or it's power level three you know it's going to be uh 24 at at natural wow. armor one right that's one um mm -hmm. but if you're at power level three it's going to subtract 24 so maybe you're like i it's an example with something with a big shell or something right so it's mm -hmm. you know slashing is not going to do anything to it well maybe you maybe you have a weapon that has a bludgeoning aspect too and you hit it with that so it doesn't subtract 24 from your roll anymore right so it's hard it's hard to say what you're going to do it's all variable on the situation right so yeah so you need to be able to make the defense or generate the defense mm -hmm. mm. yeah i don't know foundry but i tried to do i tried to do this in fantasy grounds and gave up okay yeah. uh and then moved to owlbear and we just do it by hand <laughs> yeah the post the post roll stuff i've always done by hand too yeah okay um yeah, it I worked, will do it worked I pretty well in Albear, though. That was pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Roll seven dice, you see them all, you throw away three, and you're good. Can it automatically keep what you want, or do you have to actually count it? Um, you look at the dice, and you just you choose the four. Yeah, you're you gonna just count keep. it. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. It just just like if you're a real table. Yes, I've never I've the, never found it a, a big issue. Yeah, it I, I think a, a VTT speeds it up a little bit, but not not in the, like I've I've played with my seven year old and he's able to do it. So I figure you know you can count a few dice, you know, whatever. Your seven year old is gifted. <laughs> he's he's uh. pretty smart kid. Speaking of, I have to go get him uh, yep. from school. So uh, I uh, I'm going to like I I missed kind of the first like 20 minutes of recording, but I will put this up uh, on YouTube and uh, just for posterity and you know we can do this again sometime too. That would be fine. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'll need this again this okay, week. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to keep uh, plugging away until uh, Friday evening. I need to do some prep for my Friday game, yep. but 